Hi, Rick here at Marathon Models, DJI dealer from the UK. Um, this is just a quick short video to show you the simulator function on the um, Apple app version of the um, Inspire app. So we just click on the simulator. Okay, and uh, there we have, just get rid of that. There we go. Uh, we have a little Inspire. So you basically just fly as per normal. This is a really good way. This is a really good way of actually just checking out all the different features of your Inspire because everything works. And um, as you see, you've got the map function working down in the bottom corner there as well. Uh, and of course, we've got the Landing gear raised. undercarriage going up. Let's bring around a bit closer, see her a bit better. Spin her around there. You see, it's all well, well detailed. Um, yeah, you've got your camera function working there as well. But a uh, really, really good way of just, if you're not used to quadcopters, because all the features work, for example, we're in GPS mode just now, I can flick to attitude mode. You see that it's drifting away with the wind. And also we've got orientation control um, fixed as well. I'll just take that away. So, for example, I'm going to just spin it around and then just push the stick away. As you can see, it's now flying away. And I'll just rotate it as she goes. In fact, if you look down the bottom corner here, you can actually see your wee artificial horizon and radar. So I can actually bring her home while rotating at the same time. And then you'll see her fly by. There she comes. Rotating as she goes. Zing, there we go. And that's orientation control. Good demonstration for orientation control. Of course, all the other features work as well. You've got um, the home uh, work. So if we just slide that... Whoop, slide that a term home function now the led i don't know if you can see this but the led on the transmitter is also now flashing as well just to indicate that uh, she's coming home and of course if you want to get out of the return to home feature but uh, you can just basically push the home button but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to bring her down and land her and then i'll show you some of the in fact i'm going to stop her there and then you can show you the auto land feature so it'll automatically drop the gear and down she will come you do actually still have attitude control over this as well although she's coming down you can actually still move her about just in case you're maybe not on the money that's her down and then of course auto take off as well so you can click on auto take off slide that across Landing gear raised. She's just sit there waiting for you to, to fly. Um, and we've also obviously got our home lock features there as well, so you can sell it, set the transmitter. Well, I'll probably because it's still in simulation mode. Um, and of course, we've, that's where you can basically reset the home point where the actual aircraft is as well. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Yep, so you can see on the, obviously the bottom left hand corner, you can see your map. Uh, in fact, can we... No, I can't go full size on the map, unfortunately. But I don't know if you can also look closely at the map, actually. If I just zoom across this way. You'll see I'm actually drawing a line behind myself. Doing a bit of a side skip there. So um, that's a really good function. So if you're doing this, um, if you're flying your Inspire for some mapping, you can actually see where you're actually flying. So that's a good thing. You could be doing like a search pattern. If it gets a bit busy as well, of course, you can just push the erase button and uh, get rid of all that. Now that's the thing, of course, I can't even see the model, but uh, we are out there. And then, of course, we can just do the return to home to bring her back. Now remember all your camera functions will work on this as well so we can start a video there, stop video, we can take a picture. Oh we're still on video. And we'll to, oh. oh no playback on them. Um, right, go taking pictures.
and of course we can use the radar on the bottom one if you want to sort of sort out your orientation as well so you know it's like pull to come back etc and then she comes down and land so that was just a quick overview of the simulator for the inspire